G'day, how you going? So I'm going to talk about Photo Story Deluxe 2025, the latest version of Photo Story Deluxe. Now it's been around for a while now and the latest version came out roughly about six months ago. Now I kind of spruik Vegas Pro, it's the same company called Magix, M-A-G-I-X, and they have various other software and this one is Photo Story Deluxe 2025. So they sent it out to me and um, they just said, yeah, talk about it in, the, in your next video and try it out. Now, I tell you what, it is pretty similar to Vegas Pro. It's just a really watered down version of it. And it's actually got a lot more features, <laughs> a lot more automated features. So that's why it's kind of like a watered down everyday person's um, photo editing. Actually, I recommend Movie Studio if you want an easy, watered-down version of Vegas Pro. Photo Story is more for like uh, slideshows, photos, things like that, uh, advanced slideshows. So, back to the video. It's kind of geared more towards slideshows, and they just want to do a slideshow. Um, and without all the bells and whistles that go with Vegas Pro. But like I said, I'll tell you what, a lot of the features that come with it, it's very similar to Vegas Pro. <laughs> and it's like for a fraction of the price too. Heaps of templates, effects, uh, backgrounds, all these things that come, that you have to kind of build yourself with Vegas Pro or actually buy it separate you know, as like a plug-in or an, an add-on. Now, when you download it, the base model comes with a lot of features anyway, but you can also buy stuff on top of that as well. A lot of like that Filmora kind of uh, editing software, um, where you kind of buy things here and there. But with this one, you actually get a fair bit of um, already if, uh, included stuff. It's got its own hub, Magix Hub, which is, it's the same as um, Vegas Pro. It's a bit of a learning curve. I thought it was going to be easy because it's going to be like the consumer. And I, I know Vegas Pro, so, and you know, I'm a pro. <laughs> but this actually is just a bit of a learning curve um, because a lot of the features that you think are there, you have to just rethink your way of doing it if you use Vegas Pro. But if you don't use Vegas Pro, this is perfect because you don't have to fork out the professional Vegas Pro prices and learn. It's a big learning curve. This is very intuitive in the sense that it's just like there's storyboards and or there's just like blocks yeah okay let's start a slideshow so this pops up first and we create project and it'll go into story mode or you can go into timeline so then you just need a few photos to put in there first. Navigate to where you want to go. And on the left here, you can manipulate it to different areas and projects and categories and what have you. There's my niece's cat. <laughs> a cross eyes. A cross eyes. Pretty much just press play and it'll just do a timeline like that, which is pretty boring. Uh, but what you can do then, you can go to effects. Now for photos, it's actually like Lightroom in a sense. You can adjust uh, brightness, gamma, HDR. So if you really do want to not use Lightroom, you could, you know, you can even use this if you want. You can adjust the color, saturation. If you don't know what you're doing, reset. <laughs> Just press the reset button. A chroma key. What the chroma key does is you can like you know, green screens. You can cut out the green screen and put backgrounds and stuff. Bookie cutter, bookie cutter does, you can obviously, you can cut away what you need. Artistic filters, erosion, <laughs> dilate. One good thing that it does, is it has video stabilization, which was pretty good actually. Like I've got these Super 8 videos and it's a bit jittery. Uh, you see how really jittery, jittery that is? Select the video down here, use plugin, uh, analyze the motion and what that does it'll analyze everything in that video now it doesn't have to be old super 8 but i just have a problem here with jittery because the bloody scanner that i'm using it just makes it jittery let's just see if now this is you see how it's less jittery so now it's stabilized the video uh lens flare <laughs> what does this do oh yeah you can add noise if you want. 
you know, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Maybe for a retro look. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell this. Oh, here we are. <laughs> hey, cross eyes. Sharpness. You can increase the sharpness of your photos. Let's go to Jerry. <clears throat> sharpness. Speed. What's this do? It speeds it up. Jerry, what did you do to Donkey? Jerry, Donkey. What did you do? You and... Jerry, what did you do to Donkey? You are you naughty girl. <laughs> hey. Naughty girl, Jerry. What did you do to Donkey? <laughs> <laughs> if you go slow. <laughs> you do... Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Bit of fun. AI, AI colorize. Oh, far out. So if I get a black and white photo, like uh, cross eyes here, and use the plug-in, ha, huh, far out. That's unreal. Huh. Almost, it almost matches. <laughs> Shift between green and red. AI sharpened. Now I've added a ORF Olympus RAW file, and it's accepted it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, use plug-in. And whoa, medium, it's too much. AI style transfer. Use plugin. <laughs> Picasso. Night Alley. The Green Wave of Kangaroo. Kangawanga. Fruit Loops. Floral. <laughs> Gary Font. Yeah, you play around with this. Oh, wow. Jerry, look. You're at the church. <laughs> Jerry's a church. Bark pattern. They're playing on the name Simpsons. <laughs> Let's see if the cat works with Simpsons. Simpsons. I want to see what the cat looks like. Ricky and Morty. <laughs> Color slide. You can add all these effects. Color change. You just drag it down to it. <laughs> Jerry, you little jigsaw. <laughs> Jerry's the old sepia, old movie. <laughs> Jerry, you're you're in the movies. Pixel fade. <laughs> Sand erosion. Then you've got also view animation, size, position, rotation. Here's the plugin for that. You can. Oh man, this thing's so powerful. I really, it really is powerful. Like it's not just it's. I guess that's why it's called deluxe. Hey Jerry, deluxe movement templates. Oh, it's even got templates, which is what I really like about this photo story deluxe. I don't want to create things myself. I want the templates. I want them to give me the templates. I don't want to think. Hey Jerry, I don't want to think. If you buy other plugins from companies like New Blue, it actually incorporates it over here. For instance, uh, Airbrush. I had New Blue Stylizers, New Blue Elements, and New Blue Essentials from Vegas Pro when I bought that. They came with that. Um, so it, it'll find those plugins as well. Uh, you can also even apply it to videos as well. So any of these things that I'm doing on photos, you can apply it to videos as well. Now you can create titles with it. So let's just put uh, cross eyes. And you can even manipulate it in real time on the screen. So it's very, very intuitive. And this is the beauty of it. Check this out. There's so many you can choose from. Uh, Adamar intro. Scrolling, attractive. Oh, wow. I'm going to use this from now on. You can even buy this just for the bloody... Uh, titles and then you can import it into your own videos but yeah this is a full that's why it's called deluxe uh, did, did i tell you it's called deluxe <laughs> subtitle ticker <laughs> that's the old welcome to 1999 websites <laughs> now the best thing about this obviously why you buy it is for novices for noobs is the automation part of it the templates so this button here is the templates transitions so from one to the other flying things like got heaps of stuff i mean there's so much to go through i'm not going to go through all of them if i go from cross eyes i'll put it in the middle there and 
it's going to cross over and transition to the other one. <laughs> oh wow, there's so many things you can do. The thing that I like the best is this movie templates. So for instance, you've got this, you know, and you can manipulate it whichever way you want. Thriller, James Bond, uh, Golden Times, uh, Lounge Vibes. You, you want to use the wizards because you want them to do all the work. You, you couldn't be bothered doing stuff yourself. So there's a huge range of wizards you can use. All you got to do is pick one. Then it randomly just mixes up your videos or photos and uh, creates a little short video out of it. Pretty cool. And then in here, you've got all these different templates. So you've got film templates. Uh, you've even got um, outro, intro. I actually use this for one of my cousin's weddings. What you got to do then, you just got to drag stuff in. So for this one is the text, the double uh, click on that, and then over right here, the adventures of Private Dick Jerry. <laughs> Detective Jerry. And then this one, add media, and then it comes back with something. Voice over Rob here from the future. The song that was chosen in this uh, was copyrighted by YouTube, so I had to take it off. So just be careful. Um, even though you've paid for this software, this, the music that comes with it, like this one was a, like a jazz track, and it's actually someone famous. So yeah, YouTube said, no, no, uh, sorry, mate, that's copyright. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> so I did the intro, I just took one of the templates of the intro and I changed the name or put some uh, names in there so, <laughs> and that, that kind of uh, fit with it and then um, I did, uh, what did I do? Oh yeah, that's the other thing that it's got, this also comes with Yeah, so this thing called travel maps, it's unreal uh, you know how you see on the videos sometimes people do like um, moving the car. So it's good. You can do location one, location two, location three. We'll go. We'll go straight to the the Bahamas. We'll go straight to Miami, <laughs> and then you can just do different photos along the way. So for instance, I just move the sixteen millimeter over, click it on top. And then all of a sudden, Jerry is now Super 8. <laughs> How good is that, eh? What hey? did you do to Donkey? Hey, Donkey. What did you do? <laughs> you and That's unreal. Just for the effects. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jerry, Jerry. you're a naughty girl. What did you do to Donkey? Hey, just for the effects. Shit. What else is there? Uh, you, just ha you can just hover and play to see what it's going to look like rather than apply it. Black and white. High contrast, the cinema, cinema two, cinema three, vignetted. Oh, that's nice. Then you got your background design, portrait effects, uh, balloons, <laughs> uh, falling leaves. I think that's just for the background. Photo strip, yeah. Amelie, that's that movie. Uh, Blair Witch, Grey, what the hell's that? Uh, bloody Grey's Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Hugo, that's that Steven Spielberg movie. Frames, I mean, there's so many hearts. 
Yeah, they've even categorized it for you. Christmas, there you go. <laughs> it's even got the sound of the snow in the back. Reindeer. <laughs> yeah, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. There you go. So, yeah, it's got a lot, a lot of things you can add to your timeline. They, they actually give you some free songs here. Uh, classic. There's a shopping hub as well. You can pay for, what's this, in pounds for some reason. And there's also another thing called uh, the hub, is another hub as well, it's Stock Media. You can download Stock Media. It's kind of like their version of storyboards, text-to-speech. Hello there. My name is Jerry. Hello, Tira. My name is Jerry. What the hell? This is in German, is it? Hallo, ich bin Jan aus der Schweiz. Oh. Ich spreche Ihren Text in deutscher Sprache. Hello there. My name is Jerry. G'day, Cobber. G'day, Cobber. How's it hanging? <laughs> G'day. Jerry, what did you do to Donkey? You are you naughty girl. Uh, you naughty girl, Jerry. What did you do to Donkey? Jerry, what did you do to donkey? What did you do to donkey? Hey, what did you do to donkey? Oh, you cheeky bum. Come on, <laughs> what do you find? 